Hi, today we're talking about derivatives. Now sometimes when you're using derivatives or trying to find the derivative of a function, it's often necessary to use the quotient rule. Now the equation is the derivative of y equals f prime times x times g of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over g of x squared. Now that might seem a little bit confusing or complicated, but it's really not. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is set up a table. So you're going to draw an F. And that's just going to be this little top part up here. So X to the third. Next, you're going to get the derivative of F. or f prime and that's going to be 3 times x 3 times x so you get 3x and you're going to drop the exponent so it's going to leave you with a 2 so 3x squared the next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a g and this g is just going to be x minus 1 then you're going to find g prime which x to the one exponent is just going to leave you with a one the next thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply f prime so you have f prime over here of x times g of x so as you see f primes right here and g is up here so you're going to multiply this f prime of x times g of x and that's going to be your first step so when you do that you're going to get 3x cubed minus 3x squared now the second step is you're going to multiply as seen over here to the right in your equation f of x times g prime of x now it's important to note though you see this minus sign you're going to be minusing the whole the whole uh, rest of this so minus and uh, this is an easy problem but in bigger problems it can get a bit confusing so put this in brackets for right now so you're going to take x to the third, and you're going to multiply it, so this is your second step, x to the third times 1, and you're just left with x third. Now you can obviously just throw that minus sign to the x third, but in bigger problems uh, it takes away the confusion so after the the brackets you can change the signs fast and easy so anyways now this is all going to be over the g of x squared so our g of x is just this x minus 1 so you're going to take x minus 1 squared now to simplify this it's going to give you uh, your 3x cubed minus your x cubed is going to give you a 2x cubed so you get 2x cubed minus 3x squared all over x minus 1 squared and that is your answer and if you're use if you're uh, taking a test the way that you would finally uh, want to write that would be derivative y remember use that little notation equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared all over x minus 1 squared And that is your final answer.